Okay, so seats, uh, seat belts, rotor brake. Does Thank that you. exist in that thing? Okay. Rotor brake, fuel, throttle. Yeah. So we normally bring that to there. All right. So start down here. At bat, so the numbers we're looking for are ten percent. We introduce fuel. Fires off. It's a modulated start. So finger stays on the button all the time. Twenty-five percent blade should be turning. Okay. Forty-two percent finger off. Accelerate it through to seventy percent. Then we're going to put the generator in after after we've been there for two minutes. Okay. So it's a two-minute warm-up. Yeah, pretty much. So look as a first start. Yes. The lock. So the lock is that. Always make sure that's on. I'm going to do a test by putting that on. So we run down the accumulators. So just move this through a circular motion. The pedals are lock out straight away. There's no accumulators to the pedals. So as you wind it around, a lock out unequal. So you might lose left and right, four, four to half, one or the other, yep. but you just keep going till they're all locked out. Mm -hmm. Then we reset it. We should have it back within six seconds. Okay, is the accumulator for the collective as well? Or just cycling? Yes. Collective and cycling. Okay. Now, the dump is in there, mm -hmm. it's a button. In flight, if I give you a hydraulic failure, I'll hit that, the clack storm will go off, immediately slow up to 60 knots, down on the power up, mm -hmm. because you don't know, until you look at the panel, you don't know whether you've had a hydraulic failure or an engine out. It's the same noise. The response is the same. I'll then reset that. Once you are back to about 60, no, no more than 80 knots, you can then dump using the button in here. Okay, that's when you're, you're established and you're feeling com exactly. comfortable. If you were to fly along at 120 knots and hit that button, You've just killed yourself. Sweet. This thing will flip inverted and do all weird and wonderful stuff because the forces are so great. We'll use that to test. As soon as you've responded, I'll give you that back. So the accumulators are charged so that when we use this, if you need it back, you push the button, you'll get it straight back. If I let them run down and you push the button, the, uh, the system will... Take a couple take, of seconds. Well, take six. And if you're in a serious situation... Will take six or up to six? Well, it'll take six usually. And that's what killed the use that for the um, student on finals. He dumped up that, left it at that. The machine went out shit and flew straight into the ground. We don't play around with that shit. So you'll hear the horn. Okay. Immediately slow up. Uh, once you've done that, I'll reset that. And then and only then will I tell you, dump that. If uh, This is not an easy machine to run on. The secret is, at the very end, absolute minimum use of power. The moment you start to pull power, the moment you're going to have trouble with pedals, yeah, it's, it's going to have trouble with cyclic, yeah. this is quite firm. So, yeah, this is also a machine that we tend to fly it with a little bit of friction on the cycle. All right, so start with the checklist. Yeah. So, <coughs> rotor brake, fuel, shut off lever, forward and... It's got the there we go. Uh, throttle, closed position, hydraulic pressure switch on. Mm -hmm. No, that's in here. Okay. Just feel, feel the button in there. So how, how do you know it's on? Well, it should not be off. So we're hoping the last person didn't have it. <laughs> okay. So if that's feel the button. That's all it is. Okay, so when it's out, it's on? Uh, or when it's in, it's on? That's a good question. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway. We'll find out. We'll find out. Master emergency switch check up position. Okay, so that switch, if you've got everything on, mm -hmm. you see that there. If you have an electrical failure, electrical fire, anything like that, you push that button, you've just killed all your electrics. It is a master electrical switch. There is no reason at all, short of that happening, short of a fire or something, mm -hmm. that we ever push that button. Okay, electrical fire. Yep, that we kill. That's, so that's better. Yeah, all right. So that's up and on. Yep. Cool. Starting button switch off. It is off, yep. Battery on. Yeah, so I've got that on. Alright, so battery's battery on. Yep. <clears throat> All avionics are off. Okay, so we've got a master radio. Sweet. We turn that on, you'll see these light up. We'll kill them when we go there, your fire radios. Yeah, sweet. Uh, that's yeah. Sort of All right. comes here. Um, Lighting circuits one and two test. That's those. Yep. So one will give you those. The second is a standby one for night flying. Warning light test, check all working. Okay, so look up at your panel. Yeah, and you've oh. got one in the corner here. It's not that, yeah, it's that, it's that's a spare. Nothing. Yep. So the fire one takes a second to come on. It should come on after the other one. Yep. There it goes. And have a look what you've got. Hydraulic generator, gearbox. No, take the finger off. Oh. Uh, pedo and engine. Engine uh, pressure. That makes sense. Just hold on a second. Why do we not have a horn? God. It's loud. Yeah, it's, it's aggressive. It's meant to be loud. Have you nightmares? 
Uh, collective pitch, uh, locked down position, so yeah, we'll put on. And now, when you do the hydraulic checks, this must always be locked. Even the sitting there at, at 70%. You're talking about in, yeah, on the ground? On the ground. Okay. You never put it on in flight for <laughs> obvious reasons. But if you do the hydraulic check, we're going to do the check as part of the warm up and everything. Yeah. If you turn that on, you can get a spike in, in hydraulics. This will jump up. Okay. Even sitting at 70%, it will launch you in the air. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, cyclic friction on. Fuel quantity, we're at 50%. So, engine starting. Got everything ready to go. So we're about to start it. I bring that normally to that lip, right? Hit, yeah. Here's the starter. You can see the lip there. Yeah. Hit the starter. At 10%, uh, we're going to advance it until it fires off. And then you're going to monitor your temperature, right? Um, and it's quite a quick start. It's quite okay. a... Are we like the, the 206, 407, we go into the triangle? <coughs> What's... Yep. What is it here? It won't go anywhere near that, to be honest with you. No, you right. just keep it in the yellow or what? Yeah, no, it'll sit happily at five and six. Yeah, yeah, okay. It won't go much past that. Before we do that, though, first one we use, our fuel pump goes on for 30 seconds. Okay. Good time. I've got a watch here. Right. So 30 seconds, that's just to have a head of fuel in the nozzle for when we actually advance it. Anything goes wrong, keep your finger on the starter button, just bring it all the way closed. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at 10%, 25 blades are turning, 42% finger off, and accelerate through 70% on NG. NG, and what will that sit at in our... It'll be... It'll somewhere be, similar. It'll be well down. Okay. Okay, so there's 30. Uh -huh. So, all yours. Let's switch the lip there. Yep. Blades clear, untied. We are. Okay, advance. A bit quicker. Looking for a light. There we are. Okay. Keep feeding the throttle in. Blades are turning at 25. Yeah. Keep feeding it in. Keep feeding it in. Keep going. 42, finger off. Finger off the start. Keep accelerating. So there's the lockout. I'm going to put it back on. 
Six seconds, so two, three, four, five, there's out, and you should have them back. Yep. Now, this is where you double check this is locked. Yep. Push the button in. Collective lock. Instant lockout of everything pedals the whole lot. Yeah. Still should be able to make sure you can move your blades, because that's how you're going to manually drive it. We still have accumulators, but we've now just killed the solenoid, right? Okay. So that's the master dump. Push that button again, and again, we should have everything back. Okay. Yeah, back. you really got to push it in. Make sure the light's out. There we go. Okay. So don't... Remember, we never touch that in flight unless you unless you've had a hydraulic bar. Yeah. Now the spool, when we finish, uh, after we've shut down, we crank the engine over to ten percent. We use the spool button. That will not work if you got the generator in because it's a starter generator at the moment. It's acting as a generator. Yep. Makes sense. So that is not going to work. Okay. Right. All right. You can accelerate now through to all your numbers. So just gently forward. Monitoring your temperature, no more than 40% torque. Okay, as this comes up, we've got to put the horn on. Okay. Let it go out. Make sure it goes out the right spot. All yep. the way through to the gate. Yeah, and what's the right spot? About 36. Keep going. Okay, we're in the gate. We're in the gate. I'll close my door. All right. Make sure your frictions are unlocked. Yeah. You've got good enough. Here's your collective friction. And I suggest you fly with a little bit of that on. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so it doesn't fly out of your hand or anything. But... Alright, so everything's forward. Everything is looking good. Our engine instruments are good. That A8, you can pull that. Pull that. Pull the knob. Pull it right out and hold it. That's it. Set your DG, your compass is up here. Alright. And we've got comms and everything happening. Check one, two. Okay. When you're ready. It will just come up the hover, I'll make the call when we go, I'll look after the radio for you. So don't have that too loose, that's the only thing, because it's very sensitive. Alright. Alright. So, we'll... collective friction, collective lock coming on. Okay. Up we come. So we're all clear behind my side, we, we're going to move across a little bit and then turn to the left. Remember it's right pedal. Oh yeah. yeah don't forget it. Shut up. Nice and relaxed. Just hold yourself there. Okay, you're doing all of that. Darcy, hold your hand still. Hold your hand dead still. Yeah. Alright, you've got a death grip on that. You need to back off a little bit. Yeah. I'm coming around the left. And out we go. Uh, let me just go on the line here and try and hold it in the hover if I can. Yep. And the secret is, stop moving your hand. Push your, push your forearm into your leg and just use your wrist and fingertips. There's, there is no machine that will tell you quicker than this thing. And pedal, relax with them as well. Again, you're doing all of that yourself. So just freeze. All right, let's go forward. Uh, look at your hand. Just relax. Okay. All right, they're using 3-4. We'll go straight out there. On runway 3-4. We'll go straight out here. On the grass? Yep. And I'll just get you, before we get move on to the runway, you can put it on the ground, pick it up a couple of times. Just find a nice smooth spot up here. Okay, uh, almost no wind here today. No, it's good, actually. Uh, here? Yeah, go up to that green patch, there's, that's pretty level. Just always have a look around here, they've been doing a lot of work on the airport, so make sure there's no star pickets or anything. For those peaks. Alright, stop anywhere there and put us on the ground. It'll come on your skid first. Shell Harbour, taxi into runway 34 for an upwind departure to the north, Shell Harbour. Nice and gently down. Traffic Shell Harbour. Okay, follow that through with pedal to neutral. Okay, once again, look at your hand. Got a best grip. Okay, up we come. Shell Harbour, Charlie, right. Hotel Sierra Zulu. Remember a little bit of right. Yeah. Shell Harbour, 1500 feet. Northbound, yeah, that's Shell Harbour. That's going to be a weird habit to break. I guess you just look outside and react to whatever's happening, right? Exactly. It's what you see in the window. There's a star pick up there, see it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'd go through the belly of the helicopter. Alright, put yourself down again if you like. Shell Harbour traffic, still the Park, crossing runway. No, just the neutral, the uh, yeah. just Alright, up we come again. And we'll do a 360, one to the left, one to the right. Remember it has a big tail and it's a very powerful tail. Yeah, you pretty much just have to think about turning. Oh yeah. Okay, the right turn's your power turn. So it's one to the right. Joining circuit for runway 3, 4, Okay, that's him there. We'll go out in the train here and just go for a blast, get you comfortable with it. 
Yeah, where's the training area? I'll show you. Right up, so off 3-4, it'll be a right-hand turn at 700 feet. Alright, are you doing radio calls? Yep. Traffic Cell Harbour, Helicopter Tango, Sierra Victors. Lining up and rolling midfield runway 3-4, we'll Harding Crosswind for the coast. Cell Harbour. And it's all clear. It's all clear. Look your side. Yes, sir, all clear. Alright. A good combination for a takeoff is 70% and 70 knots. And when you're ready, you can roll. Uh, what's our first limit in this machine? What's what? What's the first limit? There isn't one. What? There isn't one. You don't hear the first limit? No. What do you mean? Nothing to tell you anything. No, 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 no. But like, in what generally is going to be like talk is the first limit? On a hot day or what? Oh, oh. It'll be, well, on a hot day it'll be temperature. You won't be talk limited. So on a 40 degree day you'll get to a temperature limit before you get to a talk limit. Okay. Okay. So your first limit. On a cold day like today, not that hot. You'll get to a talk limit before you get to a temp limit. So 700 foot's the first turn. We don't turn over those areas there. And we're going to track straight out along the left-hand side of the uh, lake over to the coast. When you can go through to about 1,200. Yes, sir. And you clear the left, the centre of the right, round to go. Clear left, centre and right. Just passing the houses. A little bit of pedal there. Is there a balance ball on this thing? Yep, down there. Oh, yeah. So level off at 1200. And what are you cruising at? Uh, use a percentage, so ball again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you want to go left no. or right of the lake? Go, go along the left hand side. Yeah. Coming to Harbour Tango, Sarah Victor's departing crosswind uh, for the coastline, I'm 1200. Okay, somebody else is out here. Yeah. There's an R44 helicopter. In vicinity of Five Islands, and we'll be for air work between 1,000 and 1,500 feet. Five Islands. Five Islands is that point out there. Okay. This is Talawara Power Station. We're over now. This is Lake Talawara, where the where the lake entrance is at the end, the thing there. That's Windang. Yep. So a little bit of pedal again. I can feel it. It's a big pedal monster. A little bit of friction on that on your collective. All right, thanks. I just did. Now you haven't, you, obviously because you haven't flown a squirrel, you haven't flown the B3. You won't be able to fly the B3 until you do differences training in it. Okay. Okay. B3, is that uh, dual fading? Yeah, that's the uh, red one over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between B3 and B3E? Sure, uh, I couldn't tell you because I don't fly the E. Tracking right uh, north, 2003. We don't have one, so... No, uh, that's right. 500, Sharper. Well, he's out there, that's the Black 44, he was going down there. Keep your eyes open, we'll track down the coast. Uh, I'll show you the features. So that's Five Islands. Now they're parachuting at the moment, which has just passed. If, I'll just come on there with right, you for a moment. Oh, yeah. Back to Richmond. If we come around here, you'll see Flagstaff Point. That's where the uh, lighthouse is. Yeah. And of course, the helipad where you're living is this side of that, right? Yeah. Are they landing in the stadium? The north. No, they land past that point, about a kilometre at Stewart Park. Okay. Okay. At 2,500, we'll be operating between... So if we were going up there now to our place, he is parachuting, we would tell him that's what we're doing, because they see us on radar, and they won't let him drop. Yeah. Uh, but if he can tell them that we're only going as far as Coniston, they'll let him go. So keep coming around, so yours will go down the coast. Yeah. There is a little bit of traffic out here, but we'll just keep our eyes open. Yeah, the plane is above us in. He said he was not going to be below two and a half. Yep. So that's Windang. That's where we normally uh, head inbound for the field if we're going into Shell Harbour. Yeah. But we'll go down, we'll go down past us, show you the other points. The one down south I need to show you because that's the entrance to Nowra. Uh, so, Claymore Lighthouse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go past there, you're in control there, space. So do a little bit of manoeuvring, get comfortable with it. Can we talk about jack stall? Yeah, okay, so the only way you get a jack stall in this is if it, you override the system, so it's rapid employment of controls. So what do you understand about getting out of jack stall? Uh, you relieve pressure off the disc. Okay, so that's one thing. What's another thing if it's critical? Say, say you would have cranked it over to the left and you went to right the machine and it wouldn't work. And this is counterintuitive. You've actually got to go in the direction of the stall. 
Okay. Okay, so if you're up there... You've got to go with it a little bit. Yeah, go with it a little bit, and then try to come out of it. All right, so don't fight it. Well, you won't stop it. If you've got a stall in there, you will not correct it unless you unload the ram. All right, all yours. Uh, control. Pedal. Yeah, yeah, I'm just having a bit of fun. That's all right. Let's see if you can do it in balance. It's a big machine with regards to pedals. So this is fast point. Fast point, all right. And pedal. And shall have a traffic hotel, Sierra Zulu is now established northbound coastal. Fast uh, point this time, 1,500. Shall have a traffic, Mike Judo Tango is northbound, just south of Bass Point. We're at 2,500 coast. As a machine. And hotel, Sierra Zulu, thanks for the question. Pedal, 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 pedal. Uh, Where's the machine? Right there, 2 o'clock, I'm um, going to descend. I'm oh, sorry, 10 o'clock. So we, we're, he said he was. Lower that pole an inch. And yep. the ball goes right out the bloody side of the glass. Yep. Okay, so this is Kayama. You yep. can go no further south than this okay. without getting a clearance. That's now as airspace starts right there. And it starts right here. All right, you want me to uh, put in a turn or what? Yep, come around. Traffic Shell Harbour, helicopter Tango, Sierra Victor is Kayama. Northbound coastal for Windang at 1,300. I want you to join over, hit the field at 1500. That's that. No urgency to get up there. Go to Twin Bay and then up, or just go straight That's to the field? Good. Just go straight up here. Yeah. So this point here is Minamara. That's the point. Windang, where it enters the uh, lake. That's where we'll go to. Only so you know where it is, because uh, in bad weather and what have you, that's the easiest way to find the airport. It's also the location that all the locals know. Yeah. Shell Harbour traffic, uh, Lima Gold Post going over the field. All the weekend warriors. Yeah, 2,800 climbing for them. This can be a very busy airport. Not to Captain. Yeah, I was, I was here last year. Well, it's even busier now. OK, pop up to 1,500. Traffic Shell Harbour helicopter Tango Sierra Victor is winding. We're inbound for the field, 1,500, with the intention of joining over here at the field. So in bad weather, if you come down here, you're coming to there. All you do is follow the, the shoreline from the south, yeah. all the way to the apex of the lake, and the airport is right there. Yeah. How's the weather in winter here? Uh, it's actually usually pretty clear. It's nice. We have cold nights and whatever. It's great night flying. Yeah. So we'll go straight over the top, and we'll join on the dead side. Looks like they were using the 3-4, but we'll have a look at the windsock. So when we do an auto, we don't put it on the ground. We're going to power terminate it, because okay. we don't want to risk it. All right. Uh, the only one we will put on the ground, if everything is right, will be a hydraulic failure. Uh, normally, we, there's a couple wind down there, so we need to carry a little bit of speed, but it has to be done with care. I okay. can't overstress that. All right, have a look at the windsock down there. There's nothing on the ground. Uh, it's, it's three four. Yeah, so that's what we're going to go for. We'll join crosswind for three four. So over the top, round the right. Three four is a right circuit. One six is left. Circuit heights 1,000. Shell Traffic Hotel, Sierra Zulu. Uh, 44 helicopter is coastal and inbound to the field at 1,500. We'll be joining for a midfield downwind runway 34, Shell Harbour. Uh, traffic Shell Harbour, Tango Sierra Victor is uh, over the top. We're joining crosswind for runway 34, Shell Harbour. Okay, you can poke your nose over, get rid of some power and get down. We said we're going to join crosswind, so that's the height we hit, circuit height. Go down to a thousand. Yep, keep coming around. Am I able to sneak in through that gap on the river? Yep, well you can do that because we're over 700, so perfect. Come around a bit more, square it up. Just a normal everyday circuit, I want you to go to the runway, and I want you to go for the thousand foot markers on the runway. Michelle Harbour Traffic, Tango Sierra Victor, we've got you sighted and we're going to join number two to you in the circuit. Uh, and we're going for the runway. Roger. All right, all the instruments are where they should be. Everything is looking good, but nothing untoward happening. Just a normal standard garden variety circuit. Make your turn when you hit that road there. Yep. This is another noise sensitive area just here. Yeah, okay, so get around it. Traffic Shell Harbour, Tango Sierra Victor is the right base at three ports. Stop and go, Shell Harbour. All right, all yours. Shell Harbour Traffic Hotel, Sierra Zulu, R44, joins midfield downwind runway 34. Shell Harbour traffic. 
Through the runway, uh, Bay, uh, three, four, yeah. Three, four, full stop. Shell Harbour traffic. Just coming in a bit deep, so I was going to do a bit of a turn. Bit of a vibration, this bloody thing. Wasn't doing that before. We check it slightly from our right. Actually. Yeah. Not much of it. Let's just roll from that. We got a little bit behind us. Yes, sir. Tango Sierra Victor rolls for three, four. Hotel Sierra Zulu turns final runway. Three, four, full stop, grass track. Coming up to seven. Yep. In the left, the center of the right, the round. There's a jabberoo down there on the runway. There is one behind us that's landing and it's a full stop. One joining. Traffic, Shell Harbour, Jabberoo 5077 is lining up. 34, Shell Harbour. That guy has a very unique voice. Yeah, he does. Okay, so if you have a hydraulic failure, it's going to sound like this. Your response has got to be to slow up straight away. Okay. I'm going to give it to you back. You've got them back. I have hydraulics. Okay, you don't do anything until you're back around the 70 knot mark and you've got it all under control. And you can put your finger in there and... Now remember, we had a trouble with that button, so here goes. It's gone. Okay, and there it goes. Now I'm not going to run it on okay. because of the fact that there's fuck all wind down there. Fantastic. Alright, so we're going to terminate it. What I want you to do is when I say go round, I want you to establish a positive rate of climb before you attempt to put the hydraulics back on, okay? Yeah. The accumulators should be charged. And the secret of this is near the ground, the minimal use of power and pedals. Do the left, the centre, the right. Traffic Shell Harbour Tango Sierra Man, that collect is heavy, eh? Hey. 3 4. Um, for a practice hydraulic failure to go around. It's a bit of a monster. Yeah. Not too bad in forward flight. Uh, it's got some sweet spots. Yeah. 60, 40, 20. Uh, uh, usually quite comfortable speeds. But when you get close to the ground, anything you do to any of the controls is going to fuck it up for you. So what we do is we try to get as low as possible, as slow as possible and let gravity take us out, take over and put us on the ground. Okay, right? but we're not going to go to the ground? No, we're not going to go to the ground. We'll go down to about 200, maybe a little lower. Well, you've got a handle on it there anyhow. Well, it's sort of just flying itself at the moment. Yeah, but when you well, get... As soon as I start pulling that power, it's going to be... Uh, you will feel it. You, you'll feel it when we do the go-round. Okay, go, Sarah Victor, goes round. And go round. So pull that power in. It's... it's Pretty hard, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to have to start going back to the gym. Uh, Mike Juru Tango, Ned, what's your position, please? Okay, I want you to relax now with everything. All right, positive rate of climb yep. and relaxing through. Okay. Now yeah, you'll get it back. There you are. And I have controls. we have got it. Shell Harbour. Oh. Just keep climbing straight ahead. We'll yeah. get it back. Excel Harbour Tango, Sarah Victor's airborne off uh, runway 34. We're going to join downwind for runway 08. A left downwind for a practice auto rotation. Shell Harbour. What we're going to do with the auto is I'll say practice auto and our target speed's going to be what? Downwind runway 34. 70. Yeah, so the real truth is in most of these machines, if you don't know what the number is, between 65 and 70 is a good number. Yeah. Downwind runway 34 for a touch. Keep the climb going. So we clear the right to send the left. We're going to come around the left. And yes, sir. All we're going to do is, when I say practice auto, we're going to put the lever on the floor. We then will check it just to trap, make sure that we don't have any sort of overspeed. Uh, anyway. What do you want to go to, 1500 or? Yeah, go, we'll, we'll go to whatever height we can get out there. Traffic Shell Harbour Tango Sierra Victor is downwind to runway 08 for a practice order rotation. Yeah, how about we level off there? So just get yourself cruising along a bit. To the right and centre of the left, come around now on the base. Mike Julia Tango standing base front 3 4 and have the Jabiru in front, Shell Harbour. Traffic Shell Harbour Tango Sierra Victor is a left base 0 08. Practice order rotation in the first half of the strip to a full stop, Shell Harbour. I want you to tell me when you think you would make about halfway down the first section of the strip. We can't cross the runway because of the other guys. Yep. I imagine it falls somewhere between a 206 and a 407. Yeah, it's, they're not too bad, actually. You tell me when you think you would make it. I'll be giving that a go about now. Yeah, all right. Let's go. All right, so all the way down. Stick to the floor, and we're on the floor. We're on the floor, and it's sitting there quite nicely, so yeah. all yours. You can manoeuvre as required. A little bit fast there, but fine. I 
turret will make that halfway mark. So eyes out the front, not doing anything stupid. Uh, sitting at the top of the green. Yep. Sitting there nicely. 70 on 65 knots. As I said, we're going to power terminate it. We've got a little bit of droop, we will. So that's pretty good there. All right, general flare and wait. Still have a traffic, Mike. Sure it's cool. Hand over. Good. All yours. For the coast, midfield. Pedals, pedals, pedals. Runway 34. A bit of a... Um, a bit of lag there in the engine, eh? There when is. You, when you pull power, is that just the light combing, or...? That's no, just the light combing. Pretty normal. Okay. Alright, taxi is back, because we're going to... I've got a flight test to do, yeah, so we're going to yeah. go and do... Yeah, he's been busy. I know. <laughs> we're going to go and do your paperwork. And if you want another run... Um, uh, honestly, I've got quite a bit uh, of a full schedule, but um, maybe uh, later on next week. Yeah, yeah no, that's fine. Yeah. I've still got to figure out how to start the Huey when I get back. Yeah. We're clear right, centre let's, left. Let's go across the grass there because of the Jabiru. Alright. Uh, nice to pull to park that right in the middle of everything. Can we park just behind the drain or what? Uh, yeah, maybe. Or on the grass? Uh, not on the grass, they don't like it. The, uh, uh, just on the bitumen, just behind him. Yeah. That'll probably do you. Yeah. Uh, there's a bit of a traffic uh, dip. caravan uh, where that drain is. Texting uh, runway 34, Charlotte. Big Cabaroo 7821, taxiing for runway 34, crossing 0826, Shell Harbour. Alright, lock on. Lock is on. on. Horn off. Harbour. Horn off. Throttle back to 70. Base touch and go 34, Shell. Uh, and two minutes? Yep, a couple of minutes there. Uh, so we'll get rid of some landing lights. Jabiru. We'll get rid of our uh, seven turning have lights. Touch and go. Fill the pedo heat. Shell harbour. We would normally call the radio master and the fuel pump just prior to shutting down. Fill those as well. Charles. All right. So when you shut this down, bring that back briskly to the end. Don't bring it back slowly. Uh, that's when you're going to fire because you don't kill the fuel properly yeah. and it trickles in and it will fly, flare off. So just when it's when you're ready, all the way back, briskly, as soon as you hit the two minute mark. Yep. And at what point do we pull the turbine? After after we're down to zero. So it gets to zero, then back up to ten percent. Ten percent. Yep. Okay. Just the once. Just the once. And why are you are doing that? that? Uh, you're just um, you're uncaking the turbine. All right. So. Still pump. Still have yep. traffic, Just monitor that. Base, Obviously, if that starts to race up, still spool it. Yep. Well, so I, can't, I can't spool with it. The chain's still on. Correct. So kill the generator. So fuel pump off. Shell Harbour traffic. Generator off. Yeah, generator off. Three, four parachute off. Shell Harbour. We'll leave the radio on for a moment. Yep. Now the rotor brake is a disc brake, so you don't just pull it on. Just get of it. Yeah. But I'll just show you something by the do way. Do you even bother putting it on? Is that just wearing it out? Well, we do because we want them fore and aft so there's nothing sitting over hot exhaust. But right. uh, if I put that generator on and go to spool, you watch what happens. Nothing. We'll have a traffic back to nothing the go to right. final yep. runway three. So generator off yep. and yep. you will be able to spool it. Right. So zero percent. So up to Victor rolling runway three. And that's all there is to it. Now we leave the master on. Uh, yeah. If you hear this, then, and you haven't turned that on, that's automatically happening. You leave that leave it on until it stops, and it will stop, but it's not going on. It's easy to get that hot. Yeah. And we can draw that in. So you can use the brake, try to stop one right in the front. So just nicely apply some pressure, you'll feel it working. That was an hour, believe it or not. Time, it. time flies when you're having fun. I think they are fun, squirrels, so I enjoy it. Did you? I used to display the squirrel. Yeah, I'm. Um, I know, we'll see if it grows on me, eh? Uh, they do. The B3 is lovely to fly, but um, now I'll show you where to get these times. These the cycles? Nightmare. Yeah. I don't even know why they have. But anyhow, there's a thing in there that shows us how to do it. Come around the back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.